you lost your phantom wallet. You have 11 of the words, but you're missing a word. How do you get your wallet back? This video is going to show you exactly how to do that. This particular script reduces the search base by 16 times, which makes it much faster to find the wallet. And if you genuinely are only missing one word from your seed phrase, you only have to run this script for a couple of hours and it'll try every possible permutation. If you have a similar issue, but slightly different, leave it in the comments. The script for this is on GitHub. I'm going to download it from a fresh computer and set the entire thing up so you can do the exact same thing as me. Chances are, if this is far into the future, Phantom will have updated their UI. So you'll need to change the X path of the buttons it clicks. That's relatively easy. I have another video on my channel called how to make a bot, which will show you how to do that. At the end of this video, I'm going to make a wallet and see if someone can crack it. All right, let's get started on a fresh computer. First thing, install Visual Studio. Uh, let's get Visual Studio code. Download for Windows 10. Accept agreement. Next, 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 next. Install. All right, now let's go to the Microsoft Store. Search Python. And let's get that. Okay, it looks like Python's installed. We can check it by going to the command prompt. And if you just do Python, yeah, we have Python now. Well, now we need to get the code. Let's go to the GitHub. The link will be in the description. Dude, look, I'm swagged out right there. And let's download these. Just get the, py the top Python extension for your Visual Studio code here by clicking on this extensions tab and then searching Python. So when we try to run it here, we're getting all these errors because we don't have the import. So let's go back to the terminal and we're going to install something. So do pip install selenium. What else was there? Um, pi auto GUI. I don't know if we need that, but let's try to install that as well. Pip install pi auto GUI. To be honest, the way the code is set up right now, I think you can just skip the pip install pi auto GUI and then just delete this line. Finally, we have to install pi input. So pip install pi input. Let's close and reopen our phantom bot and try to run it. See here, we haven't filled out our path to our CRX file. I'm gonna show you how to get the CRX file. Open Chrome, click on your extensions and you should have your phantom extension. If you don't, just install the extension. Click manage extensions. You can also click on the three arrows here and click extensions, manage extensions. You're gonna wanna take note of this long string because there's a folder on your computer that goes by this name. Click pack extension and in the root directory here you want to browse and for me it's in this PC, local, users, my user, app data. In order to see the app data folder you have to enable hidden folders. So if you click view in your file explorer and then click this hidden items checks box you'll be able to see the app data folder. Next you want to go to local, google, chrome, user data, default, extensions and then notice this bfna string here you want to copy this file path in here with the version folder select folder and click pack extension now that you packed extension if you go back to your file explorer and you find that folder app data local google chrome user data default extensions bfna you'll see this crx file here that CRX file, you want to copy that exact path into your Python file. So here's the path and you can see the dot CRX here. Also notice I put an R at the beginning of the string. This removes the special characters that would occur when you have a backslash and then a letter. Here I just put in a random selection of 11 words. You're going to want to put in your 11 words here. All right, now we can run the file. And now it starts iterating through wallets. Depending on how fast your computer is, you should get every five seconds it checks a wallet. And let me explain a concept to you real quick. Here in this program, it will run until it finds a wallet with a balance, at which point the program will stop and it will have the seed words printed in your terminal. The way this bot works, it adds one word to this list of 11 words to make it 12 words. It adds it in every location, so it iterates through starting with the first location. That way it tests all permutations with these 11 words in this order. The way this program reduces the search space by 16 times is by using this checksum function. The checksum allows you to check if the last word matches the previous 11 words. If it doesn't match, then the wallet is known not to be valid, so it doesn't even run that check. I hope this helped. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. All right, this is the fun part. So what I'm gonna do 
is show you the first 10 words of a wallet and then leave the last two for you to use the script to try to get into. This is a different problem than the problem that my script is currently solving. So you're going to have to update the code in order to get into this wallet. Also, the wallet needs a non-zero balance in order for the bot to actually stop at that wallet. Otherwise, it'll just keep going. So if someone wants to send like 10 cents to the soul address, I'll put the soul address in the description if someone has soul. I don't own any soul, Matic or ETH, so the wallet won't stop. Show secret phrase. Here. I will not share my secret phrase with anyone, including Phantom. Uh-oh. All right, there's the first 10 words. Good luck trying to crack this. Peace.